So as the weather warms, not only are we starting to think about growing plants again, we're also probably starting to think about feeding the birds. There are many types of feeders out there, and regardless of what type of feeder you have, it's really important that you take the time to properly maintain and clean your feeder so that you're not inadvertently causing any disease or pest issues that might be passed on to the birds as they come to your yard. We want to clean our feeders really well with soap and hot water and then we want to maintain that cleanliness about every two weeks thereafter. A lot of that is just monitoring your feed, making sure there's no spoilage, making sure it's not getting wet and possibly moldy. With hummingbird feeders, there's also some additional considerations. We should be cleaning these at least once a week in cool weather, and as we get into the warmer weather of the summer, we should be cleaning these twice a week. If there is any mold development within the feeder, we should be adding a little bit of vinegar to that wash rinse as well. So another type of feeder is a suet feeder. Anytime that it gets warm enough for the suet to melt, there is potential for mold and other issues to develop, and we should be cleaning those feeders and restocking them at this time as well. So as you start to get the itch to get your bird feeders out, make sure that you take the time to properly clean them so that we can help preserve the health and, and continue our enjoyment of our local bird populations. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension. You're watching from the ground up.